This is bag valve mask ventilation of an apneic adult patient. This skill is designed to evaluate your ability to provide immediate and aggressive ventilatory assistance to an apneic adult patient who has no other associated injuries. This is a non-trauma situation and cervical precautions are not necessary. You are required to demonstrate sequentially all procedures you would perform from simple maneuvers, suctioning, adjuncts, and ventilation with a BVM. You must actually ventilate the mannequin for at least one minute with each adjunct and procedure utilized. I will serve as your trained assistant and will be interacting with you throughout this skill. I will correctly carry out your orders upon your direction. Do you have any questions? At this time, please take two minutes to check your equipment and prepare whatever you feel is necessary. So I'll make sure that I have my personal protective equipment, my gloves and my eye protection. I'm not required to wear it when I demonstrate this skill, but it is available if I choose to. I also want to make sure that I have my suction device and I have chosen manual suction. I want to make sure that I have my BVM with reservoir and mask, that I have my tongue blade, that I have my oral pharyngeal airways, also called OPAs, that I have my oxygen tubing and a tank with regulator attached. I am prepared. Upon your arrival to the scene, you find a patient lying motionless on the floor. Bystanders tell you that the patient suddenly became unresponsive. The scene is safe and no hemorrhage or other immediate problem is found. You have five minutes to complete this skill. My scene is safe and I have taken proper PPE precautions. I'm gonna start by checking responsiveness in the patient and there is no response. So I'll send someone to get additional assistance and the equipment, and I will check the carotid pulse and breathing for between five and 10 seconds. The patient is unresponsive, apneic, and has a weak pulse of 60. So I'll open the airway with a head tilt, jaw thrust, and look in the mouth. The mouth is full of secretions and vomitus. So I would roll the patient to the side and clear any large chunks and then prepare for suctioning. I'll use my manual suction and I'll be measuring from the tip of the earlobe to the corner of the mouth. I'll go no further than that or as far as I can see down into the airway. Suction on the way out in a sweeping motion for no more than 15 seconds. The mouth and oropharynx are clear. So I would then use my tongue blade to push the tongue posterior as I go in with my oral pharyngeal airway or OPA and I will rotate 90 degrees until the flange rests against the teeth. No gag reflexes present, the patient accepts the airway adjunct. I'll then prepare my bag and my mask and get a proper mask to face seal and begin ventilation of one breath every five to six seconds, watching for chest rise and fall. Two, three, four, five, six, one, 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 Ventilation two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. I'll pause momentarily, check the pulse. The patient still has a pulse but is not breathing. I'll attach my oxygen tubing to the base of the bag and to the regulator. I'll make sure the tank is turned on. I will then attach my reservoir and turn to 15 liters per minute. Make sure the oxygen is flowing. I'll reestablish a mass to face seal and continue the ventilations of one breath every five to six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, How would you three, know if you're delivering four, appropriate five, volumes with each six. ventilation? I can see chest rise and fall with each breath. I'm done with this station.